Hi guys, Carrie Millspaugh here, visibility consultant for public speakers and public figures. Many of you already know that, but I love to throw that in there. I'm going to ask you today, what is your social media story? What is your social media platform saying about you? Now this applies to everyone, not just those that are putting themselves out there for business, maybe to get hired and so on. And you're going to figure out where you land and fall as I go a little bit deeper into this message. So first and foremost, even if you don't use social media for business like I do, maybe you're an employee looking to get that next job and you haven't really looked at your social media with these new lenses that I want to give you. Believe it or not, these days, employers are asking for your social media information, your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram. Even if they're not, they still can find it. It's pretty simple, okay? And, and stuff you unfortunately you posted years ago is still live and showing up online. So be careful about what you post, even if you're just an employee looking to be hired to the next gig, okay? But for those of you that are really, truly my clients, those that are putting themselves out there in the speaking world, please take a look at your social media. And I mean the typical five platforms that I talk about, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube, and LinkedIn is huge, okay? If you're in the speaking industry, LinkedIn is very big, okay? So what is your social media story? What is it saying about you? I reflect myself too. I want people with the from the outside looking in, since everything I do is public, I wanted to give a story that says I'm a Christian for one. I, in fact, I just had a girl reach out to me this past week saying, I saw your scripture verse on Instagram and I wanted to reach out to you, scheduling a consult with me right now. That kind of helps kind of, kind of shed a little light on who I am as a person. Nothing wrong with that. Share your beliefs. Um, I'm a mom. I'm a family person. I love to post about motivation, inspiration. I write books. I speak for a living as well. So I hope I'm putting out there that I'm this person that also is, you know, motivational, inspirational. I hope you get to see my heart. You know, that's the number one thing. Of course, there's my quirky personality in there as well. You should be able to land on someone's social media page, especially Instagram, since it's all pictures anyway, and get a real quick click, like just kind of a snapshot of who that person is. And if you don't have to be an energy reader like me or pick up energy like I do, to know this person's either good or bad or what are they giving off? Are you that person that posts a lot of negativity? Are you constantly ranting? Are you consistently putting out, you know, treating Facebook as if it's dear diary today, life sucked, hoping that some magical fairy is going to come down and solve your problems. I mean, if you're putting out that negativity, you're going to get it back. You know, that's just kind of an energy thing. So. We want people to get the right impression of you. I use Facebook especially as a connector and I'm vulnerable on Facebook for those reasons. Vulnerability creates connection as Brene Brown talks about all the time. So there's something about that. There's a, a way to be vulnerable, but yet also show how you've overcome that vulnerability. It's okay to be real. Trust me, I love me some real. And I, it's hard to find these days, especially on social media platforms where people are pretending often to be something they're not, you know, and they're not showing you the dark side. They're not showing you that hey, I am going through something right now and I'm real. Your real friends are going to show up when you do that. Okay. And I've, I've, I've had that happen to myself. So the key thing too is, um, a while back, I kept taking all these cocktail pictures and my mom's like, Carrie, you look like you have a drinking problem. And I, and those that know me, I drink really rarely. I'm a very, very minimal social drinker. If I'm out with my girlfriends and the sun is setting and that glass of wine looks just right for a perfect Instagram shot, I'm probably going to take a picture. But I didn't realize that the space in between the photos looked like I was drinking nonstop all the time every day until mom kind of was like, hmm, this looks bad. And it did, it started to go, okay, wait, maybe, maybe I need to pause a little bit on that. I don't want to give the wrong impression. I definitely don't have a drinking problem. And alcohol is not something that controls me or something I run to. It's not a crutch for me. So again, sometimes that outside reflection makes a difference, which I also say, Google your name, you know, Google your name and see what pops up. Again, if you're a public speaker, public figure, you're out there trying to get hired, they're looking at you. Is your message consistent? Are you who you say you are? If you stand for something, you should be posting about that. If you're this raging vegan that loves natural food, you should be posting recipes and putting that out there, you know, showing yourself on a hike. If that's your vibe, 
put it out there so we can get a quick glance of who you are and kind of catch on to that energy quickly. Last but not least, <clears throat> I know it's hard to see from the outside what people are interpreting and they are interpreting it through their own lens and that's on them. You know, if they think for some reason you're intimidating or I get that one all the time, or if something's along the lines, I'm probably the most approachable person on the planet and the warmest person you'll ever meet in person. But for some reason I get that intimidation factor from, from others that don't know me very well. Long story short, it's not about what they're thinking or feeling. I don't want you to post thinking, how's this person going to react? I want you to be your authentic self and be true and real. Don't try to think, well, this is what's expected of me. And last but not least, if you're a public speaking client of mine, this is huge. Every time we pitch you in our speaking agency, they are asking for Twitter handles. They're asking for Instagram. They're especially asking for LinkedIn. They want to know when was your last post? How often do you post? Is your message consistent with what I'm pitching, for example, if I'm pitching you for a talk? Is your branding out there? Is it consistent with your messaging? If you're not posting a regular business or a regular um, process, strategically, a minimum of three times a week. You know, you don't really have to go overboard, but three times a week is helpful. We don't want to say, oh, their last tweet was, you know, February last year. That looks really bad because they want you to promote their event if they hire you. They're looking at your followers and how consistent you are. Hire my staff to do this for you. And many of my speakers already do, and they have this publicity package, but I'm just putting it out there again as a little tidbit of information. Please help us do our job better so we can get you hired as well. Uh, I think that's pretty much it, guys. I hope that you learned a little bit about your social media. Um, I hope you reached out to me if there's anything I can do to help you in this area. It is important. It isn't just social my social media pays the bills so it's very important to me and it probably pays the bills for you too so just wanted to give you some reminders big hugs big love guys bye